Hi everyone. One of the most famous and useful methods for calculating limits is L'Hopital's rule. It tells us that if we want the limit of a quotient with an indeterminate form such as 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, it's the same as the limit of the quotient of the derivatives of the numerator and the denominator. Now, you may know how to use L'Hopital's rule, but do you know how to justify it? That's what we're going to do here. Let's discover the maths. We'll focus on the specific indeterminate form 0 over 0. Suppose the limit of f of x over g of x as x tends to a is the indeterminacy 0 over 0. We're going to look at what happens without worrying too much about the minor details. We'll assume that the functions f and g are differentiable in the neighbourhood of a and are defined at a itself. Because their limit corresponds to 0 over 0, for continuity we have that f at a equals 0 and g at a equals 0. We're simplifying the situation but it'll help us to understand things more clearly. L'Hopital's rule says that if the limit at a of the quotient of the derivatives of f and g exists, then this coincides with the limit of f over g as x tends to a. So this is what we want to demonstrate, that these two limits coincide. How do we go about proving this? We'll do it by considering the lateral limits that is, the limits when we approach from the left and from the right. Let's look specifically at approaching from the right. The argument is the same by analogy if we approach from the left. So as x tends to a from the right in our case, x is greater than a. We're considering values of x so that the interval ax is included in the neighborhood where f and g are differentiable. We have f and g defined in the interval ax in R, and what we do is apply to f and g the Lagrange mean value theorem in this interval. Notice that f is continuous in ax because it's differentiable throughout the neighbourhood. Also for the same reason it's differentiable in the open interval ax. Applying the Lagrange mean value theorem there's a value c, or let's call it c sub x because it depends on x, in the open interval ax such that f of x minus f at a equals f prime at c sub x times x minus a. In the same way for g, g is continuous in ax being differentiable throughout the neighbourhood that contains this interval. G is differentiable in the open interval AX and again by the mean value theorem there'll be a value D sub X on the open interval AX such that G of X minus G at A equals G prime at D sub X times X minus A. Remember that F at A and G at A are zero and we have two expressions for F of X and G of X now let's go back to the limit that we want, the limit as x tends to a. When x is very close to a, we can apply the formula above. We substitute for f of x in the numerator and g of x in the denominator, and then cancel the factor x minus a on the top and bottom, and we have our limit. As x tends to a, x gets very close to a. We also have that for this x, c sub x and d sub x are in the open interval ax, and x pushes them to a. So c sub x and d sub x are very close to a. We have on top f prime of something very close to a, and on the bottom g prime of something very close to a. This is the limit when x tends to a of f prime x over g prime x and we've arrived at what we wanted that the limit of the quotient is equal to the limit of the quotient of the derivatives 
I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'm going to see you very soon to discover more maths.